Hey right, guys, welcome back. I'm home. First video back since our 4,000 mile round trip to Texas to pick up a new and improved Diamond C40K gooseneck trailer. Met a lot of good people on the way and actually locally in town, I got home early enough and I made a stop and we made a connection for something that's gonna be very important on grandma's truck and I'll share that with you guys at the end. Uh, and it's, it's always nice meeting new people and trying to build the channel and trying to build their business and trying to build connections. I really enjoy that, but we're back home and it feels nice. I cleaned up the shop before I left, spent like two, three hours trying to organize it. I got that green truck tucked in here. That was another slider that somehow got in front of grandma's truck, but what I'm gonna share with you guys at the end, I think you'll actually really appreciate it. And I have my daily in here. It's actually got an oil leak and I'm hoping to fix that and get it out of the way and bring grandma's truck in. But first, I gotta hit the fridge. I don't know if you guys drink these, you probably think I'm a loser or something, drinking ice mocha. These things are good, I don't care. But the thing I wanna talk about today is, if you guys are anything like me, you got multiple trailers, multiple options. I've tried to rig this truck up here to fit everything I wanna do as like a gopher truck. My daily driver, really, really happy about driving a 12 valve day in and day out and upgrading it to a G56. Only made that bad boy even sweeter. But I tow all the trailers I have with it, either just getting them around the yard, whatever the case may be, making dump runs. I got a bunch of trailers. You know, little utility trailer, you got a dump trailer, enclosed trailer. Each one of them has either got a different size ball or it's got a different ride height for the front hitch on it. So I don't like a trailer, you know, doing wheelie. I don't like it doing a nose dive. I like the trailer looking nice and clean and professional, riding nice and level. So I have like pretty much a different hitch for every single trailer I have, and it's getting kind of ridiculous. Let me just show you the inside of my toolbox, or I mean right off the bat, I got a five inch drop for a two and five sixteenths one. I had that in there. Uh, I don't even remember what I was towing with it. But then you come up here, and I got a six inch drop with a uh, two inch ball, or I think that was another five inch. For the two inch ball, that accompanies my uh, little utility trailer. Because I noticed something with a little utility is it kind of gets in a bind right here. If the two inch ball, the little couplers, they almost seem like they they hit right there. I don't know if it's a design flaw, but if they're not riding level, I feel like it's potential to hurt something. So I got that for the little guy. Then for towing the dump trailer, I got this solid one because I don't want anything to break with the heavy weight with the dump trailer. So I got a solid one, two and five sixteenths ball. And then my 7K enclosed trailer, I have a six inch drop with a two and five sixteenths ball. And I don't know what happened to my little flat two inch receiver hitch. I don't know where that one is, but uh, with a two inch ball. But pretty much every trailer's got something different. And, you know, it's not that big a deal to hop up in the truck and swap those things out. But, you know, sometimes you're just in a hurry and just need to get it done. Your toolbox might be full of stuff. So, I've been on the hunt for a brand to knock something out that will make life a little bit more efficient and easier. And check this bad boy out. Teamed up with these boys. And I'm excited to try this. Ugh. This thing showed up while I was away. You guys might have seen their advertisements on Instagram. That's how I discovered them and I reached out. And they are bulletproof hitches. So I may, I got something that fit the bill. I just needed a two inch ball and a two and five sixteenths ball. And I needed the potential for level or a six inch drop. That's what we got here. Hooked me up, what we got here? Uh, da, da, da. Bulletproof Hitches t-shirt. That's kind of like a soft shell material, it's kind of nice. Got some decals, and there is the big boy right there. You can see she can be adjusted. Solid, so it's gonna be every bit of rating that you want. And the ball coupler right there. You got the two inch ball. And a two and five sixteenths. So I'm gonna go ahead and slap this under my truck here. I'm just excited about this. There's no more needing to carry a bunch of extra of these things around because this is a complete package and it'll take care of every one of the needs I have. Uh, I really like how it's solid too. It's not a chintzy one where it's hollow because I've seen that before. But oh yeah, this thing by the way, she's got some weight to it. They ain't cheaping out on that. Nice and solid. They even come with multiple options, depending on what your receiver's got. For 
length. I'm gonna go with the second one so it's nice and solid in there. Sticking out like if I use that one out there, I mean, look how much more leverage it's got. You don't want that. You gotta put her back in there all the way. Oh, brother. I like it. I just pull them pins out, boom, boom, drop it down. Again, I got. you can get a bunch of different varieties for how far you want to drop. You can even turn it over and stick it up. I don't know what you do that for, that seems weird. But then I can just switch it over and I got the two inch ball right there. It only take me, I don't know, 30 seconds to swap that thing over. Check. Got your measurements already planned out. Coordination's weak. I don't think I took 30 seconds, might have. Flipped her over, I didn't have to climb up in the truck, I didn't have to do any of that mess. And this thing's right there. I'm gonna get some locks for it, obviously, so that we don't have any uh, sticky fingers coming along and taking one of these bad boys. Cause this is, this is a sweet setup right there. I really like it. I know other brands make this stuff, but I like to see what Bulletproof Hitches had to offer. And uh, cause I didn't know much about the company, reached out to them and they are awesome to work with. I'll say that much. But right here's a radians on it for the two inch ball. You're good for 12,000 pounds, two and five sixteenths. You're good for 22,000 pounds. That's more than my truck even wants to think about. So I'm going to fix the oil leak on here today and then we'll get some towing. I'll wrap that up in this video. But I wanted to talk about grandma's truck. Like I said, that I've had three other vehicles come sliding through and take um, a position in the shop when I should have been working on grandma's. Believe me, it's stressing me out more than it is you, the fact that it's not getting worked on. I said I had something exciting coming for it. Way back in town, I stopped at this uh, pretty well established trailer dealer and they have flatbeds I've been looking at for quite some time and they are more than willing to work with the channel. They even are gonna reach out to the uh, manufacturer and see if uh, they might even work a little bit more with me. But either way, I'm gonna get one of their flatbeds maybe next week, depending on what the phone call goes with the manufacturer. But I'll buy the flatbed now. That way I will have all the incentive to work on this truck because the, I mean, to see a brand new flatbed ready to go on a truck that's not ready for it is gonna make me wanna work so much harder to try to get this truck going. And whew, I got I got my work cut out for me. Anyway, I'm gonna go in there and work on my truck, get the 98 back going so I can do a little test towing with the new bulletproof hitches. Uh, if you guys interested in one of those hitches, please reach out to them, tell them Sam sent you. V-Belt and Son, I'd really appreciate that and they would appreciate the business. They seem to be very awesome folks to work with and that's the best kind of, you know, folks I like working with. It's just good clean cut, you know, awesome people. That's all I can say. I'm searching for awesome companies to work with and them, B&W, they just seem like they're great people. And then when I disclose the new flatbed, those are gonna be great people just as well. And it takes a little while to search, trying to find the good businesses to work with. But when you find them, it is where it's at. So I'm gonna work on this truck. Again, bulletproof hitch is right there, boys. All right, this is the vacuum pump off of the truck here. 12 valve, 24 valve, pretty sure it's the same exact rig, but it was leaking just holy Wow, it was very profusely leaking. So I, at first I thought it was because that's the pressure for the oil Right there, and then it just returns right through that guy, but it was coming from right here So the seal went out. It's like 150 to 200 bucks on Amazon be here in two days for a new one of these But I called Napa and they wanted 300 bucks even with my good student discount but they have a seal kit for um 30 bucks. So I'm just going to run to town and grab that. It was actually a lot easier to take that out than I thought. All I did is I still have the uh, power steering pump is still, I didn't uh, break that system at all, which was nice. I was worried about having to do that, but I just crammed her out of there. It only took uh, 30, 35 minutes dinking around. I pressure washed all this off because it leaked and covered all underneath the truck. I'm gonna run town and grab that stuff. What do you think? Should I take this truck? 
was back in the, the shop, ran to town, actually ran all over town. It's kind of ridiculous, but I just started tearing into this vacuum pump. Seal comes with a new uh, metal gasket for bolting the thing back onto the engine. And then it also came with the new seal, which I thought was out, was that little guy in the middle. Then it's got an O-ring and then another little tiny O-ring. And I'd never taken one of these apart before, but, um, you know, learning. This bad boy goes down inside of there, and you have to take that out to remove the seal because it goes in from the inside. So, took this apart, two bolts, and then I went down the side or inside of it and tapped it out with uh, my handy dandy. That was the best thing I found, <laughs> and it worked. Gotta make sure you go put that thing back in there the right way because that's what goes inside that. Seems fairly simple. I'm gonna slap the new one in there, push her back together, use all the O-rings. If you come with a kit that's got all three O-rings, make sure you find a spot for all three O-rings because you're taking it apart, might as well swap them out while you're there. It was starting to frustrate me, so I cut the camera. <laughs> I ended up just having to, uh, I couldn't find a brass punch. I guess I don't got any down here. But I just put my old trusty wooden handle wire brush in there and smacked it with a hammer and got that thing drove in there. It is a tight fit. I put a bunch of uh, assembly lube in there trying to get that O-ring to slide nice and easy. What the heck was that? This little fitting right here. I uh, put some new Teflon on it while I had it apart because, uh, shoot, you never know, you know. She could have been leaking too. It looked like this thing had been leaking for a little while. I think this, I had this issue on my old truck and I just kind of, it, it didn't leak near as bad as this one is, but I kind of avoided it and it's actually a very simple fix. It, I mean, I haven't fixed it yet, so hopefully it all pans out, but... For the most part, this has been a fairly easy procedure. 230,000 miles on this truck. She's gonna have a little bit of grease, dirt, crap built up on there. Back together, go tow a trailer. I got her back together and I did do a test fire without you to make sure everything wasn't leaking. I like to make sure, you know, I don't need to add coolant to be able to fire the truck up. So got everything buttoned back up on there. Honestly, that was way easier job than I thought it was gonna be and no leaks. But I did break the uh, like the uh, the cooling system here for the engine, and I got this little rig set up here. So check this out. It's got one of those little drill gun pumps, and well, this thing is kind of sweet. Because normally I'll take this thing and I'll put the t where the hell is the topside creeper? There it is. I'll take the topside creeper, stretch it out all the way, run a siphon because this is brand new coolant. Don't need to recycle that i don't need to get rid of put new stuff in there so i bought one of these pumps did a gold uh duct tape job and let's see here so you guys can witness her it actually works pretty slick look at that pressure that's like quarter throttle so it's actually torquing it down pretty good look at it man Holy hell. Oh. <laughs> kind of figured that was going to happen. I still got a couple gallons, but she is working slick. That works way better. That thing was like 20 bucks on Amazon. I'll put a thing up for it. I got a kink in the hose, too. Uh, well, that thing, <laughs> it only wants to work on like a high speed. You got to get it going rolling, and then you can kind of back off, and it'll keep the momentum. Keep pumping. But sometimes you get a little ahead of yourself and make a big old mess. No big deal. Fire it up for you guys and we'll check the, for the leaks. That's a coolant level went down, got topper off. Yeah, yeah. Good. 
just in time for the flashlight to die. Alright, I gotta put some mud flaps on this truck. What's she doing? I like my anti-theft deterrent right there. I <laughs> coupled it to the tractor. It's good to be home though, I'll say that. Oh man. It's even better to see that uh, my red truck back out up and running. It sat for far too long when I was doing the swap for the man's mission. Not your typical trailer hitch review video because we did a little maintenance on the old Dodge, but no leaks, thank God. We'll fire this up right now and test this hitch because I really hate a review video that doesn't actually test the product. And we'll put this thing to use. I gotta shuttle a couple trailers around the yard right now and get them out of my way. And right here, is a perfect example of what I don't like to see. Uh, I actually had the hitch in this truck that was locked up so he couldn't use it. My buddy uses this little trailer for dump runs. Built this trailer back in like 2012. It's been absolutely handy as hell. I use it all the time for pretty much anything that'll fit in it. And dump runs are its specialty, but you can see this hitch doesn't drop down enough so it's got a pretty good wheelie. It's not terrible, but I wouldn't wanna go any more of a wheelie than that because it puts a real good bind on the latch. The uh, kind of uh, kind of wants to get stuck even if you lube it up. It's because you can see right there, it hits. If you don't get it just right and get it over that little shelf, it doesn't want to go down on there. And it's just, it's just not ideal. You need to have your trailer hitch, your tongue and everything needs to be level, ideally, if you can do that. And this thing should hit that bill very well. So I'm gonna fire this old truck up and go move another my enclosed trailer and then come back over here and hook onto this one this is what i normally slot in there i just want to double check bada boom i might even be able to go up one more on that just to see how it does so we could probably go up one more whole notch we still got an extra whole notch below it Nice having a little trailer. You can slide them around if you're a little bit off. game changer right there having an adjustable hitch I like it I can even go down one more notch I parked a little bit of a hump right there but being that I matched it up with my old hitch I know it's gonna be right there in the thick of the money keep my trailer nice and level because I did go you know I probably bought like three or four hitches I mean I had a two and five sixteenths my solid ball or solid hitch originally and that made the trailer do a wheelie so I was like, ah, I'll, I'll get a four inch one and it still did a wheelie. So I ended up getting a third hitch. And before I got the six inch drop, before I found something that matched up, I probably could have Googled it and seen what this trailer required, blah, blah, blah. But I ended up buying three hitches before I found one that actually worked and I could have just bought this one and it solved all my problems right from the beginning. So yeah, boy, let's go hook onto the other one. I'll get this one parking out of my way. We'll see how this one shakes out now that i won't have to steal the hitch out of that truck over there so he can always make the dump runs with the little trailer i'll have mine 
and mine's universal but let's get this one situated now we got to switch this one over to the two inch ball i don't think we need maybe we'll drop it down one let's just check it it's a little trailer it's a little heavier than me What do you think? I think it needs to go up one notch, just like the other one did. Put it there, let's go up to there. Boom, trailer's level. Now let's check the uh, latch right here. Slid right up in there. Boom, boom. Buddy, how about that, guys? I'm a big fan. Bulletproof hitches, you're doing good work right there. Good, solid, sturdy product, thick steel, good welds. What more can you ask for? The adjustable nature of it, I'm going to have, you know, it's going to be a game changer all in all. Uh, that way I don't have to swap out hitches all the time. I don't got to go find one off of another truck or something. This one's going to be permanently mounted to this truck. Going to get some locks for it because I don't want anybody getting sticky fingers with it. That's for dang sure. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, found it informational. Hit that subscribe button and comment below if you guys have one of these. 